Well, Dan, Santa Cruz County is now in code red as a braces for yet more possible flooding, landslides, and power outages. This Ben Loman gas station was a popular spot Wednesday as a steady flow of customers rolled in to fill their gas cans and propane tanks just in case the power goes out. I have a standby waiting to be connected to my house. I just have one keep the refrigerator alive. As of Wednesday morning, Santa Cruz County had gone code red, activating its emergency operations center and warning mountain communities there could be flooding, trees down, power outages, and landslides making roads impassable. We're not going to have uh, access to gas for, uh, for a couple days, you know, in between the road closures and the amount of trees that are going to come down. So have at least three, four days with the gasoline. The local Ace Hardware was another stop as people prepared for the worst. Generators, portable lights, batteries, propane tanks were moving off the store shelves. We're so wet up here. Um, there's no place for it to soak in anymore, obviously. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a tough one. We've got a lot of people coming in with concerns about what's going to be happening in the next 24, 48 hours. PG&E also expecting this next round of storms will bring down wires and outages. Equipment and trucks now being staged at the former drive-in theater in Live Oak. There is a potential for a lot more trees to come down. We saw during this last storm a lot of trees coming down everywhere, healthy trees. So that's a big red flag that this is anything but normal. But for many in these mountain communities, they've been through this before. They've been tested and continue to stand firm in tough times. You live here for many years, you, you, you know what to expect. So in a sense, there is no excess preparation, I guess, if, this, if that's the question you're looking for. It's just kind of like expecting the expected, you know, hoping for sunshine, preparing for rain. Now, county leaders warning that flooding could happen very quickly with the ground already saturated. A couple of areas of concern are the uh, Paradise Park and Felton Grove areas. Depending on how much rain we get, those areas could be forced to evacuate.